Ladies and gentlemen, this is a pluot. And this is the Micah Summer Variety Hour. The Micah Summer Variety Hour. The pluot is a cross between a plum and an apricot. I don't have an example of either of those. But imagine a plum and an apricot. A pluot. It was developed via cross-pollination by a gentleman named Floyd Zeigler, who's the head of Zeigler's Genetics, a company that specializes in turning fruits into different fruits by breeding them with other fruits. This particular fruit, the pluot, can currently be found on sale uh, for $1 a pound at my place of employment, a reputable grocery store. The fact that they're only a dollar a pound, combined with the fact that they're sort of tucked behind some plastic bags next to the more well-known fruits with only a small handwritten sign that says Pluots, might lead one to believe that my employer, a respectable grocery store, is somewhat embarrassed by the presence of these bizarre cross fruits. Which is too bad, because they're pretty awesome. Yeah. It tastes essentially like a delicious plum, and possibly also like a delicious apricot, but I can't really say because it's been years since I've actually eaten a fresh apricot. Dried apricots, yes, but does anyone actually eat fresh apricots anymore? I think we may be raising a generation that thinks that apricots grow as tiny shriveled orange things with no seeds inside. So as I mentioned, these wonderful little fruits are on sale at my place of employment, a reputable grocery store, for $1 per pound. Or, as grocery stores apparently like to put it because they think that it might lead you to buy more, 10 pounds for $10. I was able to purchase 5 pluots for a total price of $2.35. So, to all of you out there, I pose the following three questions. If Pluots were priced at $1 per pound, and I purchased five pluots for $2.35. One, what was the average price to the nearest cent of each individual pluot? Two, what was the total weight of my pluot purchase to the nearest ounce? And three, what was the average weight to the nearest ounce of each individual pluot in my pluot purchase. The first person to correctly answer all three questions, whether in a Facebook comment or a YouTube comment, will receive a prize of one pluot without, without a bite in it. Imagine it looks like that. This prize can only be redeemed in person by visiting me in Champaign Illinois, please, please come visit me in Champaign to claim your pluot, because it's a great town, but it gets lonely. While you are all hard at work on these problems, I will be eating the rest of this delicious pluot. Good luck.